What's going on today guys? So today I'm going to be showing you guys part two of my camper shell build over here. I know I told you guys last time that I would clean it up before the next video, but it's the next day. So, Anyways, I got the paint all set up for you guys. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and then um, wax and grease remove it. And then we'll go ahead and start spraying. I got some primer. I got three cans. Dell will use all of it, but I uh, thought I'd go ahead and use it. And then I'm going to be using this truck bed coating. I was going to go with Raptor liner like I did on my whole Tacoma, but um, I decided to try this stuff out. Might as well before I go ahead and order and spend 60 bucks on two cans of it. This is only 20 all together, so might as well try this out before. If anything, I'll just go over it with the Raptor liner after, and it'll look just as good. But uh, other than that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I think this will be pretty much it for the cleaning process. I'm gonna go ahead and tack cloth it after it dries a little bit more, and then uh, go ahead and start painting. So that's what we're gonna see next. All right, so this is after the first coat, and almost one can down. It work out perfectly how I planned it to. Try to tell you guys, but I siliconed off the two areas where there were holes, so there shouldn't be any more leaks in there. Um, it's supposed to look splotchy right now, that's why it does. But I'm gonna give this a few minutes to dry up, turn the fans on, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray second coat, third coat, and I'll show you guys after the third coat of primer. All right, so this is after coat two and three of the primer, paint primer. Um, still looks streaky because I literally just got done with it. But after it's done drying, I'm sure it'll look a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and give this about 10, 15 minutes before I go ahead and spray on the bed liner. Yeah. We do have a little bit of trash in there, which is supposed to be expected, but I didn't really mind it too much because we're using bed liner. So it has those chunks in there anyways. So it'll look natural. Um, I also got one little run right here. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but uh, that shouldn't be too big of an issue. Other than that, it came out pretty well. But uh, go ahead and show you guys progress of the bed liner. All right, so this is right after coat number one of the truck bed liner coating and a spray can. Actually looks pretty good for, uh, for the first coat. I'm gonna let it dry for a few minutes and I'm gonna hit the next coat. All right, so this is after the second coat with a second can of the truck bed coating. It looks pretty good, it's still drying up. It looks streaky, but it'll, it'll dry up. But uh, other than that, Came out really good, got full coverage with two cans. Not too big of a deal. You guys stay tuned for the next video. You'll see how it dried up and turned out. The next video I'm gonna be painting that roof rack. I never sanded it down in the beginning, so uh, that's why it's kind of peeling and whatnot from the weather. But uh, other than that, I'll be respraying that. I'll be sanding it the whole way down, respraying it, and then Putting it back on here with the pre-drilled holes that I already put on there. Um, probably gonna end up doing some kind of shovel mount and um, slider mount. It's so like you know, the traction mounts, Traxxas, whatever they're called. Other than that, pretty much it. Might try to expand the roof rack a little bit so I can sp fit the spare tire in there. Uh, grab a new CB radio antenna for that mount right there. Maybe a flagpole holder or something like that. I don't know if you guys have any suggestions, throw them down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Other than that, it's going to be the, the end of this video, part two. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.